Now you can instantly add distance to your driver if you master this. And that is hitting the ball at the center of the club face. That's not an exaggeration saying you can instantly do it. Going from hitting off the heel like we're seeing here to hitting out the middle of the club face can add for some players around 40 yards of distance. A lot of you trying to add distance to your driver, you're overlooking the most fundamental thing to hitting the ball further and that is just good contact with the shot. Now the good thing is this is very skill based so we can get this into really anyone's golf swing but there are certain things in your technique which will give you a better chance. So for this video, we're going to talk about the difference between hitting it out the heel, which really robs you of distance with driver, and hitting it out the middle. So if we want to maximize that ball speed, we have to hit it out the middle. So let's talk about the main reason why I see players hit the ball out the heel, hitting these spinny drives that quite often curve massively out towards the right and really, really short is I'll see players coming in the downswing and they'll be driving their trail foot aggressively upwards. So you see how the trail heel is lifting up quite hard right here. Now, what that's doing, that is moving the right knee forward. And then that in turn is moving the right hip forward. So then the whole right side of my body is of course going along with it. What's my right arm holding onto? The golf club. So of course that's gonna move forward as well. So that's gonna expose the heel of the club. You're gonna hit that very heely strike. So for a lot of players who do this with irons, which will more result in a shank, this is most of you for the reason why. So for us to be able to be in a technical, better place to be able to deliver this club onto the golf ball at the middle of the face, Having this trail heel stay a little bit more down on the ground for longer as we're moving through the shot will keep this club traveling through better in relationship to the ball line and then we'll have better control of sweet spot. So you're gonna see me here. I'm gonna keep that trail heel a little bit more down. We're gonna do this and get into a drill for it. Now, here's a really simple drill to do for this. Just grab a wedge, put the wedge underneath your trail heel. Now, very self-explanatory. If I lift up that trail heel early, which will push everything out in front of me, cause my heel shot, you're gonna see how the club is gonna fall down towards the ground. So we, of course, want this to fall. We don't want to swing all the way through the shot and keep it there, that's our weight hanging back. We want to release this club from underneath the foot post-impact. So let it go post impact, and then that trail heel won't be negatively affecting the right hand side of your body. So let's do one here. Let's keep this underneath the heel until our finish, and then we'll whip one down there out the middle. So here comes the best bit with this. And that's how to train the skill of doing this because we can have technical inefficiencies in our golf swing, but we can still learn on how to manage our strike location by doing something like this. And that's having a way to monitor it. So have some powdered foot spray, spray your golf club to where you get a nice amount of it over the face where it turns white just like so. Now, wherever you hit the ball on the face, it's gonna show up on the club face. So let me just hit one here without thinking about it one bit. I'm gonna see where this one comes out of the club face. So there we go, where's that come out? A little bit low and out the middle. So what am I gonna think there? Right, I wanna try and move that strike location. Let me get that strike location a little bit higher up as that ball probably would have had a little bit too much spin on the golf course. So let me see if I can get it a little bit higher. Just think that, I'm not even trying to change anything in my technique to do so, just trying to intentionally move that strike. And where are we? There we go, a little bit higher. So that was pretty much dead out the middle, that one. But did I try to do anything with my golf swing there? No, of course I didn't. I just try to think, right, I wanna hit this one a little bit higher off the face. Let me try to do that going through impact. So if we can develop that control of ball striking location, we can really benefit from this. So we can almost do a little game here, guys, and we're gonna see how the distance of our shot and the curvature of our shot is gonna be quite distributed. So like we see, I've got the good guide here of having the two roughly out the middle. So what we can do, let's see if we can hit different parts of the face. So let me see if I can hit one out the heel. So this is gaining that skill of being able to control your strike location. So here we go, a heel shot. Oh yeah, that was a heel shot. As we can see there, massively out the heel. So next one, 
what we're going to want to do from here. Let's see whether we can control and get a more toey shot. So gaining ownership of your strike location. Not really thinking of mass about my technique here, just trying to manually manage that. Where was that? Not quite, out the middle again. I'd rather that, you know, trying to <laughs> hit a bad one and hit out the middle. But that's how we can have a little bit more ownership over our strike. I can't live with that. I'll try to get it out the toe. I want to hit this one out the toe. Here we go, guys. Should be good because this is normally my miss, is hitting it off the toe. Dead out the middle again. Great. <laughs> so, ultimately, you can see this is a very fun way to practice. It takes your mind a little bit off technique, especially if you're not got any glaring massive errors, but you're still striking it over the place. But it's a great way to practice your strike location. So, if you can master this, you will start to be very efficient at accuracy and distance. Biggest thing for creating better ball speed is just hitting it more here. Don't hit it here. That's going to be spinny. That ball is going to go as short as it's going to go. Low heel especially, worst place to hit it on the driver. You want to hit it out the middle, or maybe if you want to optimize it even more than that, high middle toe. That's a high bomb. So have a good work at this. If you massively hit it out the hill, you've got a good drill to do. If you want to work independently on what your strike location is doing, you can absolutely do that too with some foot spray. There's some sprays on the market specifically designed to go on golf clubs too. That can work. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So guys, I can't live with this. One more, this is coming out the toe. So here we go, not gonna do anything with my swing. Let's hit out the toe as much as I can. Do you reckon that counts? It's toe, I'll take that as a toe shot. It was toe middle, that'll be fine. So have a good practice at this and you're gonna have way better distance and control with your driver.